Greetings, grasshoppers. This is your RJ. Welcome to Black Belt Bots. Today, we're going to be talking about what to avoid with ManyChat. Now, let me just talk to you about ManyChat a little bit. I love them. Love, love, love. When I decided that I was going to turn my business into something that was really bot focused. Uh, I, I explored a lot of different platforms. I went to a lot of different places and figured, you know, that went through setting up a sample bot, went through, you know, wh whatever I needed to explore. I'm a geek. Uh, I, not that you needed to be told that, right? But I'm a geek. I love my technology tools. And so stuff like that to me is very interesting. I explored a lot of different things, probably six different platforms, uh, some of which have, have folded in the meantime. Uh, and, uh, but I really wanted to have kind of the world tour of what was available so that I could recommend to my clients, uh, the best thing out there. That is hands down many chat, hands down, hands down many chat. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend anything else. There are a couple other good ones out there, but the interface is not something that I would feel comfortable, uh, telling, you know, just sending a client to without extensive, uh, you know, extensive handholding, which is fine too. I mean, I provide that as a service as well, but, uh, I found the interfaces of the others, uh, scary confusing, not intuitive. ManyChat is all of those. I mean, it's the non-scary, very intuitive, user-friendly, uh, user-friendliest interface there is for, for bot setup. So just wanted you to know that before I dive into these other things. Now, this particular topic was suggested uh, by uh, one of my clients who said, why don't you get on and talk about some of the things that you need to avoid stepping into uh, when you're first getting involved. And uh, I thought that was a great topic. So here you are. But in, in every way, I want to tell people, and I just want to remind you, if you're getting started with bots, if you're a small business owner who has some need with bots, please, please, many chats your first stop. Uh, many chats, your, it's just your first stop. So let's get into it right now. Today, I'm going to share my screen with you as we go through a few things. It's going to be super fun, but I might not see your comment right away uh, because I'm working off of one screen here and not my usual three. So uh, do be patient when I come back to this screen. I'll totally uh, I'll be able to I'll be able to field some questions then. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to share my screen with you. And I am going to take myself out if I can here. Uh, let's see if I can't switch those. No, not super sure how to do uh, this particular thing. There we go. That's so much better. So let's go over here. Here is the first thing to avoid. Now, this is called uh, what the screen that you're looking at. It's called a broadcast. Broadcasting is how you keep the people that have subscribed to your bot, how you keep them engaged in whatever you're doing. Getting people in to your chat bot, excellent. Yes, do this as much as you possibly can. But once they're there, it's like getting people to come to a party and then having nothing set up. You know what I'm saying? The broadcasts are the party. It's where it's going on. It's where the music is hopping. It's where the cool conversations are happening. Uh, it's where the drinks are being passed out is broadcasting. Okay. So that said, there are a couple of things and I'm going to go into broadcasts pretty in depth on, uh, I, on Thursdays. Uh, this show is going to be about using broadcasting for the next few weeks at least how to use broadcast to engage your people. So we'll go into broadcasting in depth, but today's show is about pitfalls you need to avoid. So number one pitfall is this. 
when you start a new broadcast and you do that by going up here to the upper right hand side you'll want to think up a post and all that we'll cover that in a future session but when you go over here to settings lots of things happening here on this screen scroll down time zone settings I want you to avoid the middle one please avoid time travel it's just it's a feature that's kind of it's just not all the way done cooking yet the other ones send all at the same time which is what it's automatically set on which means this broadcast will go to everybody the second that I hit go or limit sending time that works totally fine as well if you've got you know people that are all in all different time zones what it's going to do is it's going to limit that uh sending time and probably what you'll do is pretty standard stuff right eight o'clock a.m to i don't know about 10 o'clock p.m that's probably a, a probably a good time frame you don't want to wake anybody up in the middle of the night with your broadcast limit sending time is fine send them all at once is fine avoid this guy in the middle here's why it's a little confusing the description of it it says here a message will be delivered at the same day time according to the user's time zone it's according to the user's time zone in facebook and facebook isn't always getting that right here's how i know because one of my clients sent out a broadcast and used time travel thinking that it would be uh thinking that it would be better to use and how it's intended to work is hey once it hits eight o'clock in that person's time zone go ahead and send this message wherever that time zone is well the problem is this if Facebook doesn't have your time zone correctly you're gonna wake that person up <laughs> uh, one of my clients uh, sent a broadcast about uh, some videos a video series he was doing and woke somebody up at 4 30 in the morning using time travel just hold on don't use the time travel right now it's a little it's a little they're working some stuff out okay uh so that's the very first thing that i want you to avoid and again the the either one of these send all at the same time limit sending time either one of those will work uh you know i definitely suggest using those so that is the first thing i'd like you to avoid let's move on to number two we have under broadcasting under this main heading right here we have broadcasts and we have auto posting let's go to auto posting auto posting is something to avoid right now and I'll tell you why I have got a couple things on here I've got a couple of things that connected you can connect things through new channel you can connect any one of these things your Twitter your YouTube your Facebook your RSS feed whatever it is right okay here's the problem when many chat is sending these messages through right now for instance when i set up a live stream i set up my live streams on fridays or over the weekend and i will you know pick the time do a picture all of those things right what many chat is currently sending is just the title of some of some of these auto post posts some of the YouTube stuff, some of the Facebook stuff, it just comes through with the title and nothing attached to it, no event attached to it. Um, it's a little bit half-baked. Uh, so here's another thing to avoid. You do not want your people that are subscribed into and interested in what you're doing to just get the title of your next live stream with no explanation today's title uh features to avoid in many chat if you just got that tie if you got if you got a buzz in messenger and you just got that title you would be like what is what's happening now you would think somebody butt dialed you by mistake so my friends auto posting don't use that stuff for right now. I'll let you know when it's safe. Uh, but for now, uh, it's just coming through a little bit odd and will cause your users to be annoyed. 
you just never want to create that feeling with your users, uh, with your beautiful, precious subscribers. You never want to create the feeling like, what's going on now? Uh, so do avoid the auto posting. Also, I mean, for me, I'm testing it out so that I can tell you when to use it, but I don't know that I will ever use that as something with regularity because I post regularly on all of these channels, but I don't know if I ever want a message to come through to the subscribers of my bot that I have not personally curated, that I have not thought about. What's the experience this person is having? How many times are they being pinged a week? Uh, what is all this going on? So auto posting, you know, I kind of cast a little weird eye to it anyway, because I don't plan on using it for me, but uh, don't use it for now anyway, because it's broken. But when it is ready, I will come and tell you that it's ready and it's cool to use. Now, I also had on this list of uh, features to avoid in ManyChat, I also had uh, the welcome tour. Uh, I went ahead and, because uh, a couple of weeks ago, somebody went through it and they had some really tough results. Uh, but since then, I will tell you that ManyChat has redone their tour. I haven't had time to go through it all the way. So more on that as that becomes available. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so stay tuned about the ManyChat tour. I'll go through the new one and let you all know how it goes. Okay, another thing to avoid, and that is this. Let's go down to automation. Let's go down to default reply. Okay, this is a really tough thing. At first, when I signed up for my mini chat account, this was enabled automatically for everyone. Uh, I believe that it's starting off now disabled. But if you ever get the, you know, test that one very, very carefully. I have it shut off in all of my bots. I shut it off from my clients. I, the, the results of this are really weird and it tends to put people off a bit. Um, so for me also in my bots, I do have, uh, the, you'll see on this default reply, it's saying uh, page name, which in my case, black belt bots typically replies in a day. If you want to ask something, just press the talk to human button. I, in my bot, I have it set up in the main menu that you can summon RJ at any time. So the, the functionality of it, I have covered somewhere else. And this default reply, it just comes up for people at really odd moments and they're not sure what to make of it. So if it ain't off in your bot, shut it off. And don't go there again <laughs> until I tell you it's okay. All right. One more thing for this day, uh, because I don't want your brain to be too full. This is not something that I want you to avoid. This is something that I would love for you to add. Let's go under automation keywords. All right. These two are default and cannot be shut off. They're required by ManyChat and Facebook. Uh, and they are very good because this covers when somebody wants to stop. You want to make it super easy for people to unsubscribe. You just want that. I'd rather have fewer people that are engaged in my bot than a thousand thousand people who don't really care. I want to make it so that people can unsubscribe very easily because I want to, as a small business owner who wears 17 hats and does all of everything by herself, I only want to focus on those conversations that are going to be great for us. You know what I'm saying? I want to focus on talking to people, having conversation where we're either going to collaborate or we're going to do some business together. I, I and, and so getting people, making it easy for people to unsubscribe, I know who not to focus on. And that is a wonderful time saver for me. So these first two messages, start or subscribe, it leads you to a certain message train, stop or unsubscribe, leads you to a certain message train. Here's my bonus for you for today. When it says message is, that means the message equals exactly the word stop or the word unsubscribe. It does not cover the people who say, please unsubscribe me. 
you see what I'm saying here. That if if the message equals stop or unsubscribe and anybody uh, adds a word to that, please unsubscribe, please stop, stop the messages, anything like that, it won't be picked up by your bot. So do this. Directly the message below that, do a message contains unsubscribe, cancel, or stop. If somebody says one of those words inside my bot, then they get a message that says, hey, do you really want to resubscribe? Because, or do you really want to unsubscribe? Because sometimes people are saying they're canceling a subscription somewhere else. They're talking to me about things they need to do. Uh, and so, you know, they truly do get the message by, by mistake. So I get a, I send them a little message that says, do you really want to unsubscribe? And if they say yes, then they're out. They don't need to do anything else. Uh, it's all, it's all done on the automation side. Now, here's how you set up a um, message contains versus a message is. Uh, and that is you just click on this and it'll say, it'll say, I haven't done any with message begins with. I want either message is or message contains, but you do wanna, you do, this is where you think around corners in your bot. This is where you think through situations or questions that people might have. And this keywords is where you set it up. So, wow, that was a lot of information. I am now, uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, stop sharing that, come back on. Very good. So Stacey Spensley's here. Let me uh, catch up. I don't want to fall in any pits. Save me, RJ. Uh, I'm here for you, darling, uh, every, every time. Uh, so we covered time travel. Don't use it. Don't do it. Uh, use the, the option above, which is send them all at once, or the option below, which is limit sending time. Don't use time travel. It's broken. Don't use auto po posting quite yet. It's a little half baked. I think they need to work on that one a little bit more before it becomes something that people want to use and avoid that default reply at all costs. Avoid the default reply. So, uh, if you are fascinated by the sound of my voice. Uh, congratulations. Uh, I am on uh, live here on the Black Belt Bots page Tuesdays and Thursdays at one o'clock. I'm also starting a show in the Be Live group. Uh, if you are a Be Live fan, come join us tomorrow. We're going to talk about Facebook terms of service uh, and how to stay within those guidelines so you don't get your messenger account for your page yanked. Very important stuff. Stacy says time travel bad. <laughs> Auto posting connected things, not actually useful. Defile, reply evil. Got it. I love you. I just want to say uh, that is so totally fabulous. What a great summary of what I've been saying here. And if you're interested in getting every single detail that you would like to know about messenger bots, and I am talking everything, how to write for them, how to design the imagery that goes into them, how to schedule posts, how to run a challenge, how to do absolutely everything that you need to do, and including the Facebook Terms of Service chapter, which is, uh, wow, uh, I, I don't worry, I don't read it to you, I break it down for you, then you might be interested in Black Belt Bot Camp. It's available. Uh, blackbellbots.com slash shop has everything that I have. It has templates. Uh, it has, uh, it has my bot camp, uh, which will give you the 411 on what, what you need to know. Some people really enjoy, it's a lot of video. It's probably about 10 or so hours worth of video. Uh, and it's time well spent because then you get to skip all of the long way around learning it by yourself. Because believe me, if it's a mistake that can be made in many chat, I've made it and uh, and you don't have to. Uh, so if you want to take a shortcut, thank you for the link, my friend. Ooh, Stacy says, can we talk about the anatomy of a good broadcast sometime? Because I'm trying to write one and I want you to tell me how, it, how to do it well, please. Stacy, I have this to say. Um, on Thursdays, uh, we are going to be doing broadcast, we're going to be going through each of the types of broadcasts that you can do. 
because that is really, uh, I, you know, as I said at the beginning, that's where the party is really hopping in your bot. That is where, you know, that is where the things are, are happening. That's where you're really connecting with people. And you've done some really nice broadcasts in the past. The thing is, and I, the thing that I think a lot of my clients run into is, gosh, how do you keep that up? You know, how do you, how do you keep that up? And so we'll talk about not just how do you write a good broadcast, but we'll talk about, uh, and this will, this is going to be on Thursdays for quite a few weeks into the future, like through the end of April. Actually, I have it planned out right now. We're going to be talking about not just how to write them, but also how to make it so that your content, uh, is, you know, well planned out and, uh, and how to also make sure you're not paying people too much because, uh, that, you know, that leads to annoyance, which you just never want to create. So, uh, I'm glad you asked that question because we are on it. We are on it. Uh, and we are on it on Thursday, in fact, because, uh, that I think is a really important question. I've spent a lot of time with how do you get people in? How do you get people in? Because that's the main question that I've been asked, but I was asked by one of my clients just last week. Yeah, I got them in there, but how do I keep it going? How do I keep the party going so that I'm top of mind with people when they need something, but it's not overwhelming in your face uh, way too much. So we'll talk about how to not cross that line. We'll talk about the different broadcasts you can do. Uh, so that's going to be my Thursdays. Tuesdays is going to be how to and how to get people in. Thursdays is going to be how do you how do you treat your crowd once they're in. So uh, again, so glad you asked. I'm so glad all of you are here. Listen, you guys are the greatest audience. Uh, I I love the show. I love bots. I love talking about all this stuff. And you guys coming by uh, makes it all that much better. Uh, that much better for me. I know that this is important information for people. Uh, so again, thanks for coming by. If you're not already in my community, it's free. It's totally fabulous. And it's filled with people who are building a bot for the first time or considering building a bot. And, uh, I put some, I put some information in there for folks, uh, put some special stuff in there. If you want to be involved in a community of people who are just like you, uh, then, uh, do hit up Black Belt Bots community on Facebook. Free to join. I'll totally approve you right away. Uh, especially if I know you. And, uh, yeah. That's uh that's all I know right now. Uh we're going to be covering broadcasts on Thursday. Uh so do stay tuned, you know, do tune in for that. And if you have any questions, just let them let me know. Let me know on the thread. Uh let me know stuff that I can cover for you. Uh this is a community built show and uh and so I am so uh I'm so happy to have you here. Um that's all I know for now, darlings. Uh, I hope that you're having a super fabulous Tuesday. I know that I am. And uh, that's all for me right now. So I will see you in a bot.